This is a demonstration of percutaneous pigtail cystostomy catheter placement in a cat. It's a rapid, minimally invasive method for urinary diversion. In patients where retrograde urethral catheterization is not possible, and those that are poor candidates for prolonged anesthesia. Now, while this procedure can be life-saving, it does carry a moderate complication rate. In one retrospective study, an 8% major complication rate was reported, including bladder rupture, and therefore careful case selection is warranted. First, we're going to prep the device. We're going to pull this little locking string at the end of the pigtail to loosen the tip and allow the catheter to straighten. Next, we will slide the stiff plastic sheath over the curled pigtail tip to straighten it. Now we're going to insert the cannula over the straightened catheter and then remove the sheath and then we're going to apply the needle. Make sure that it protrudes at the end of the catheter. With the patient prepped and in lateral recumbency, we're going to grasp the bladder and push it up against the lateral body wall quarterly. Then we're going to make a small stab incision through the skin. In a larger cat, we might want to tunnel gently with some mosquitoes through the abdominal wall, but not into the bladder. Then with the pigtail, we're going to push that through into the bladder. We'll remove the needle, disconnect the cannula, and then slide the pigtail off of the cannula into the bladder further, then remove the cannula. Verify entry into the bladder with aspiration of urine. Now we're going to pull the locking string tight. That's going to create the loop within the lumen of the bladder and then wrap that string around the hub and secure it with a clamp. You can see that the pigtail is not able to be removed. Then we're going to apply our catheter anchors and suture that to the skin. Here I've dissected out the bladder to see what's going on internally. You can see the pigtail curled up and secured within the lumen. So some additional points. With an obstructed urethra and a distended bladder, the bladder has a tendency to drift cranially within the abdomen. So when we are applying the catheter, we want to make sure that the catheter site is more caudal in the abdomen. So we're going to gently apply caudal pressure and make sure that the bladder is in its natural, more caudal position. Ideally, we would like to verify the position of the tip of the catheter within the lumen with ultrasound. When we go to remove the catheter, we simply cut it below the hub. This will release the string and allow the pigtail to uncurl. After removal, the site should not require closure in most cases, as long as we keep the bladder decompressed with a urethral catheter.